I'll ask you certain questions, you please answer because you know the answers and this is just uh, a formality because God is listening to your answers and all the invisible world, both the fallen angels and the angels in glory, they are all listening to your confession. So for God this is important. Do you believe and accept that you are a sinner in the sight of God by birth, by nature? and by your deeds. Do you agree that you have been a sinner before you? Yeah. yeah. And second, do you understand that all the people who are born sinners and live in sin, then die in sin, all those people go into eternal hellfire, never to be delivered from there. For all the sinners, after that, if they die in sin, hell is their destination. Do you understand that? Yes. And do you also understand that you can do nothing to save yourself? You cannot save yourself with your wisdom, with your godly life or righteous deeds, deeds of charity and service and uh, whatever religious uh, ceremonial activities, whatever, and all the gods and religions created by human beings, they cannot save you. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. And do you believe that God 
Almighty, who is the creator of the whole cosmos, whole universe, that God saw your helplessness and had mercy and compassion upon you. He said, my daughter should not go to hell. I will do something about it. And then he became the one and only holy human being, Jesus Christ, through the Virgin Mary's womb. And he took all your sins upon himself on the cross. And he was wounded for your sins. He bled, he was bleeding for your sins. And he died for your sins. And he was buried in the tomb of Joseph of Arimajaya. And on the third day, he again was resurrected with glorified body. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. If you believe that Jesus died for you and was resurrected on the third day for you, uh, then um, did you ask him, Lord Jesus, forgive my sins and come into my heart and make you a child, make me your child and uh, save me from eternal hellfire. Did you pray? Yes. Sir. Jesus said, Him that cometh unto me, I shall in no wise cast away. Anybody comes to me, Lord Jesus, please save me, have mercy, I will never cast them away. That is the promise of the truthful God, the one and only God, who will never lie. So, because of the goodness of Jesus, though we are not good, because of He is because He is good and uh, infallible and He can never lie. Do you believe that He listened to your prayer and said yes? Yes. You have that faith? Yes. Because of His goodness. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then, for this great favor, Jesus has done for us, taking all the punishment upon Himself and giving us the eternal joy, bliss and enjoyment in heaven. We can offer Him nothing from our side. Whatever we give Him, all the wealth we have, we just not give for Him. And He didn't expect anything also. He said, you bury all your whole life, your nature, your thought line, everything, you bury here in the waters, and you come out as a new person and live to please me alone. And you want to start a new life after burying your life here? Are you willing that? Yes. Yeah. You are willing for that and you want to start a new life. In this new life, you will be the most blessed person. You will be a friend of God like Enoch. And Jesus will come down. God will come down and you have to... You will have the blessing of walking with God talking to God, listening to Him, and you are the most happy, blessed woman. But in spite of that, sometimes to test your faith, God may send certain difficulties, small difficulties and big problems and bigger problems. Sometimes you may have to encounter uh, life threat also. Somebody may threaten to kill you if you follow Christ. Whatever the problem in your, in your way, even if you have to die for Christ, will you still be faithful yes, to Jesus? Yes. 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 Hold your hands, sister, and when I say I baptize you, don't breathe for one second. From your mouth or nose, just mm -hmm. don't breathe. I, 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 I'll dip you, but don't breathe when I dip you, okay? okay. Uh, fold your hands, yes. don't worry, I'm here. Yeah. Uh, fold, fold your hands like this, yes. that's all. Yes. That's all that one second, uh, okay. you look at me. Okay. Look at me. Okay. Look, look at me. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. See, 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 see me, my okay. face. Okay. I'm, I'm inhaling. Okay. How many seconds I'm keeping your breath? <laughs> One, two seconds. You need to hold your breath that way, okay? So, my dear sister, Queen already, you have trusted the Lord Jesus in your heart and you have confessed your faith. Before so many people, God, God's people and believers and so many Christians. And God's people have heard your testimony. And the invisible world, both the fallen angels and angels in glory, have heard your testimony. And the triune God, your Savior also heard your testimony. Because of your testimony and your faith, and by the authority and commandment, the Lord Jesus gave me as his servant because of the orders of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Savior of the whole mankind and the whole universe. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, 
and in the name of God the Holy Spirit, which is the name of Jesus Christ, I baptize you in waters. Hold your nose, don't breathe. Hold your hands close into it. I put the mark of cross on your forehead. Almighty God, our loving Heavenly Father, thank you for dear Sister Queen already who came from South Africa all the way here to take baptism, to take baptism, scriptural and believers baptism. Thank you, Lord, for the conviction she had to travel thousands of kilometers and miles from all the way from South Africa. Thank you, Lord, for this miracle of somebody being touched in South Africa through the internet and being enlightened that God's work is going on here in India, South India. This is something amazing, something unbelievable. You have loved Queen already with immeasurable love, O Lord. You have a special purpose for Queen. Bless Queen already and all her family members. Bless her business and whatever she does, O Lord, hereafter. Bless all that she does in a very special way. Be thou the Lord of her life and the Lord of her family, the Lord over her business. And bless her. And may her a blessing to the whole world, O Lord. Help her to continue steadfastly in salvation. Help her to grow in salvation and walk at a very fast speed, fast pace into perfection, O Lord. Be Lord, anoint her with thy Holy Spirit. Give her the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Give her the insight into the scriptures. Give her the mind that has a revelation. Give her grace to walk with God like Enoch. Lord, help her to work out her own salvation, continue in salvation, and lead many people into salvation and be spiritual mother of hundreds of thousands of people. When we get to heaven, O oh Lord, help us to see hundreds of thousands of people who say, Queen already is our spiritual mother. She led her to the saving knowledge of Christ. Help us to see that testimony throughout the eternity and rejoice in your presence. In the name of Jesus I pray. Amen. Amen. May the love of the Father and the eternal grace of the Son of God Jesus Christ and the continual fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of us and especially with Sister Quina Reddy, who is now added into the body of Christ as one of the organs of body of Christ. Amen. Be with all of us and lead us into perfection. Amen and amen. amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go this work, all this work, and Vijay will help you. Thank you.